Hi guys, this is Jess and today I've got an order for a large bag of simmering salt crystals or, you know, salt sizzlers, similar simmering granules, whatever you want to call them. And I've done many videos showing you how to make them, but I want to show you how I do it for an order. So stay tuned and enjoy. and granules before check out the video up the top corner there and it will show you like step by step I'm just gonna do this quickly how I do it for you to see so first I'm gonna grab my scale and I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna go get my salt I weigh out my salt make sure you grab the right salt wrong kind start over okay I've got the right salts this time make sure your scales teared Gosh, I am making a mess today. I'm in a hurry. Slow down. Just measuring out my lavender fragrance oil right now. Somebody remind me to order more. I'm going to do a 10% fragrance load. If you're not sure about what percentages to use and things like that, check out the video in the description box or I'll put it at the end of this so you can watch this and then I'll put the video there to that explains everything about percentages and fragrance loads and things like that and if you wanted to color these and how to package them and things like that I do it all in that video I just wanted to show you quick how I do a quick order So what price are you pricing your salt sizzlers at? Because I've seen some really low prices on Etsy. And if you guys are lowballing yourself, make sure that you are calculating your pricing properly for your products. And if you'd like me to do a video explaining how to price these, comment below and say something like, show me how... Yeah, comment below, show me how, and I will show you how to price these. Or if you don't want to comment below, just hit the like button. That's helpful too. So I'm going to finish these up, and I'm going to pop my labels on them and get them out to the customer. One more thing I want to add before I show you the final product of how I package these is, um, are you aware that there are a lot of countries that have specific labeling requirements for the weight of your product. So if I am claiming that this bag of salt sizzlers is 350 grams, I need to account that the product is inside the bag, not the bag itself. So I measured out always a little bit more than 350 grams. And I also need to account for the weight of the bag. So when I put this on the scale, it's 355 grams. Now, I haven't scraped this bowl clean, which I will, but I want you to be aware that you need to make sure that the weight that you're claiming on your packaging is correct. Now, if you always do a little bit more salt, so what I mean by that is just a higher amount of salt. So if I put 355 grams into the bowl, when I'm making it and I'm claiming it's 350 grams, I'm going to be okay for the weight laws. And also the fragrance oil will add a little bit of weight, of course. But just be aware of how much your product weighs. Like this is three, 373, 374, it's good. So I can claim that this is 350 grams and I'm not going to get into trouble with any labeling laws. So there it is. Let's get the label on. All right, I have the labels now. So I'm just, I printed them off and I'm just going to put them centered on the product. And one on the back. Just matching so it looks good. Um, it doesn't matter. You can put them here if you want to. I just chose to put them there. You could put it down here with your, like a sticker like that up there 
you just do what works for you. So the next step now is to just get a box, package this up. I'll just show you since I'm doing the whole process, I'll show you now how I pack this order to completion. So always get boxes that fold up like that. Get some tissue paper. Um, I don't like the boxes that you have to tape shut. They take way too much time. And we just want to get this done fast. So, product, pop it in. And if you have any product inserts, put them in as well as your, um, what do you call this, packing slip, order packing slip. And if you want to add like a sample, put that in there, I always do, but that's just a pro tip. It's totally optional, you don't have to do that. Um, never package, ship it like this, always put some packing material here. I've always got a box just over there with some extra packing material to grab that I can just throw in, just put on top to make sure that my order is secure. And at least if you're not sure, like give it a shake to make sure. And I tape my boxes shut before it goes out. And then the last step, of course, is your label. I like to have everything ready to go so that when I'm packaging these up, they can just be ready to go. And then I pop them in a bag and send them out. I hope this was helpful for you. It's a super fast run through. I've got another video here to watch if you want to learn how to do this with me slower and and I do it step by step so check that out next and I'll see you there